Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to an extra short episode of Season 3's 100 Day Challenge, starring Maxwell, master of the Windows Update. Yeah, so while recording the other day, uh, <laughs> uh, Windows decided it was uh, more important for it to uh, restart my computer than it was for me to finish uh, recording my, uh, my episode. And uh, I don't even know why that happened. Like, I have automatic Windows updates disabled. Uh, like, I've had this computer for two years now. About a year and a half, two years. And it's never restarted on its own because I have that feature disabled. But uh, I guess this was a really, really important update. So uh, thanks, Obama. Or uh, whatever the kids are saying today. So uh, that video got corrupted. So we're going to do a quick rundown of what we did over these two days. Uh, as you can see, we have a boat repair kit and some uh, charcoal over here. So uh, early on, uh, we went and set fire to uh, six of the coconut trees. One of the trees was right next to that beehive on the island, and uh, we burned that down. Now there are some homeless bees running around, but two of the bees got killed by the fire and left me their stingers, which was awesome. So we went ahead and prototyped a boat repair kit. We're not going to use it just yet. We're going to save that for a cargo boat or perhaps a uh, an armored boat. We're not really going to use it on a rowboat. It's not too good. Uh, it's not really efficient because a rowboat only takes three boards and four vines, and the boat repair kit takes two boards <laughs> already, in addition to the significantly harder to get in shipwrecked uh, stingers. Uh, so we did those two. Uh, we picked up some more berry bushes uh, over here. We have nine now. Uh, there was one more on the island, but it was really close to a tier two spider den, and there were poison snakes everywhere. So we just got out of there. We didn't want to get poisoned again. But as luck would have it, the spiders killed one of the poison snakes who dropped a venom gland. So uh, we snatched that up. And uh, since we already have coral and seaweed, we made an anti venom instantly. That's inside Packham right now. So we're going to have an anti-venom just as a little backup at our base. That is just exceptional. Uh, we did replace our boat. We have a nice fresh boat. And uh, we only have one boat torch. We made a second one during uh, our night there. And uh, we spent last night rowing the uh, long way home. Uh, it's let us get a lot of seaweed. We're up to 19 very, very fresh seaweed. And we have three monster meat. So we're probably going to cook up some of these or maybe even eat them raw because we are Maxwell. So... You know, don't have to worry about the sanity. Just enough to get us home. We want to make a crock pot so that we can start making meatballs. Uh, and uh, yeah, today's episode is just going to be setting up our home base. Should be a fairly fun one, especially for the OCD in me. And uh, yeah, going to set up our base. And from there, we just got to survive. All right, let's get to it and finish out this uh, one day long episode. All right, so we were just finishing rowing along this island, zooming in the mini map just a little bit, zooming out the real world just a bit. Like, I like to have the max range of vision, and this one I like to be a little bit closer so I can see the details that we have in this nice mod. And uh, we can just come over here. Is this our island? This is not our island. We are still very far away. Oh my goodness. Let's sail the long way. Uh, we can eat these raw. That's just no problem as Maxwell. Oh, look at that. Sanity drop. Doesn't matter. One more minute. We'll have those back. No problem. Ooh, we have uh, more bees and limpets on this island, I believe I saw. Yeah, that's a bee right there. And we have uh, lots, lots of these guys. Now, we do want to be getting floaty booty nights. So I think we're going to try to come around the whole island here and kill these four jellyfish. Now, we don't really need to kill the jellyfish. Uh, I mean, I guess they will give us free food, as I've mentioned before. Uh, I don't think they'll hurt our armor. But, uh, actually, they'll probably do a little bit more damage than uh, they'll give us, because we're just going to be killing them with a cane. So we're going to hit them more than once. Hmm. Maybe we'll just make up another spear. We have we left two spears on that island, two pickaxes. We were so inefficient with our tools. Actually, we'll just use this axe. We'll, we'll ask them a question that they can't refuse. We're almost back to full uh, sanity. 
And our food is higher than it was when we ate it, so Maxwell can just straight up eat soggy seaweed. It doesn't matter. This does not need to be cooked. He is not a uh, prima donna on, you know, eating the wet stuff. He's all about that seaweed. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna kill, like, all of these guys. Just, we're going on an axe murdering streak. And you see, we go a little bit slower. So it does actually... One... Two, there we go, perfect. So we can go ahead and uh, get our health back. And uh, this is exactly what we need, just two hits, and they die. Five damage a hit, and uh, we can eat them up right now. And you see, we go back to full HP, and we get this free food. Uh, these guys will respawn, and sometimes floaty Bodhi knights will spawn. It's what we want. Hopefully we don't get, like, an armada. We don't want, like nine floaty booty knights in one place. That would be a tragedy. Uh, we might be able to do it. Floaty booty knights are very, very easy to fight. Is this a random raft? Is that a spear gun? Ooh, there. See, I said, I think in the last episode I was talking about how I wanted to find a spear gun because I've never actually crafted one. I will look up the recipe soon. But uh, in the first playthrough I made before uh, making this, uh, this let's play, uh, I found like three or four spear guns just going about my normal day. So yeah, we're going to kill all these. Now, uh, one really useful feature from this mod that is a bit cheatery, I don't feel too good about it, but it is so helpful, is that uh, if floaty Bodhi knights spawn, they will actually show on our map before we see them. So around tomorrow, if we look at our map, we'll see if any floaty Bodhi knights have come. I think that's that's enough for no no we're gonna get these guys we're gonna get these last two so we'll come and get these two uh, I think our axe will just survive that's fine we'll even give it a nice sea burial just, uh, rest in peace axe oh, okay. yeah, we could kill one more but there's uh, man if we would have gotten that one it would have been fine uh, we'll try to find that one on the way home. We do want to get our chimenea set up tonight. It's gonna start raining. Uh, I do want to make an umbrella, although I don't know how important that is as Maxwell. Like, we get our sanity back so fast. If we go to the fire, we'll regenerate everything we've lost. So the water is almost a non-factor. I think we're just gonna make the pig house and see how we do. Uh, now, we might get uh, destroyed by not respecting the uh, sanity loss. But I think that that's a, uh, a venture we're willing to, uh, to take, to undertake. Let's uh, scoop over here. Ooh, we've got some more seaweed even closer to base. Uh, this is our base, right? Yeah, yeah. So we got even more seaweed. We're going to leave this here unpicked for now. We have tons of seaweed. It's probably going to go bad on our material. Can we find one more uh, jellyfish? Let's put this on and go a little bit faster. Any jellyfish right next to our island, that would be super appreciated game. There we go, right there. So we will axe murder this guy with our last bit of the axe. Boom, broken axe, get out of here. Dead jellyfish, walking stick on, and we're going home. We're going to start setting up our base. Now, I want to be pretty efficient about this base. We're going to come a little closer to... Uh, this place, we need to clear out these trees during the night and tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we need to dig this up. Oh, I left my shovel there. Let's see. We want our, uh, we want this to be here. And, uh, we, we have a basic fire. I'm not sure. We gotta move some things. This, you've gotta go away. You're in the way of progress. Well, you can just... You can come over here for now. We'll we'll come back to you. Like we will come back to you. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and poop on you, cause uh, even if we don't want you there, we're gonna have to move some things around. Uh, these trees have all got to go. But uh, we don't have enough light. Uh, in the interest of having a nice, a very pretty base, we're gonna use a basic campfire tonight. And uh, we're gonna start chopping wood. We're gonna put this in here. And uh, what else do we have in here? We can put up the bamboo, we can put up our thatch things, oh, we can put our gold in here, uh, we can put our rocks away. Actually, we're going to get our rocks out and we're going to make our uh, crock pot. 
So we need one, two, two for the crock, three for the crock pot. It is three, yep. So we're fine up one more. And it's under food. There we go. We have our crock pot made. This clears up even more inventory room. And uh we actually we're gonna need more chests. Let's go ahead and make another. We'll uh, put it up here again on the nice wooden flooring. Uh, we don't want these going bad, but we don't want to put down our uh, stuff just yet. So we're going to make our axe. We're going to start chopping these trees down. And uh, we're going to be on the lookout if a snake spawns. We are ready. Oh, there we go. We are ready. See? Uh, one, two, three, four. And he's dead. And more monster meat. Excellent. So I forgot about that. Uh, if we kill snakes from the trees, we can get uh, monster meat. So that is a way to get monster meat on our basic island. Yeah, here we go. And one, two, three, four. And you're dead. We're gonna need that. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of this wood we uh, chopped up on the fire. Uh, two, that'll be more than enough for the whole night. That'll let us get pretty far away. We'll chop this down. Oh, uh, this tree takes about 10% of the axe to chop. So we're done. Oh, that is a poison snake. Please, no, sir. One, two, three, four. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, we're going to dig these stumps up in a bit. So let's just get really efficient, get the trees down. And uh, you know what? We're going to have to dig these up next episode. Let's chop this down. And uh, next episode, we're going into base building mode. We're eating a little bit more food here. And yeah, we're going to call an episode. Next episode, which will hopefully be back to our normal length of three days, we're going to start setting up our, bus our base. So we need to get these planted. Uh, ASAP, we're going to go ahead and put them down and uh, fertilize them immediately. And then we're going to continue clearing out this base so we can get our uh, palm leaf hut put down first. Uh, in my first playthrough, before I started the series, I noticed that if you put your chiminea down, you can't get your palm leaf hut near as near to the chiminea. Like, there's more room that it requires. But if you make your leaf hut, you can put your chiminea fairly close to it, just a little bit closer. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm crazy, but I do believe that's true, and I think we have enough stuff to make our leaf hut. We have uh, tons and tons of bamboo, and we have um, all of our palm leaves. So, yeah, we're going to set up our base, we're going to go big on our base. First thing though, first thing today, we want to get these planted, because we want them to start producing. We have tons of food now. But as the season goes on, I don't want to have to worry about food on a day-to-day -day basis. So nine, nine plants will actually give us three fillers for meatballs. We just got to get three forms of meat. And we have three, way, three days of making meatballs, which uh, is excellent. That's going to be like two, two days of food. Just about two days of food, I believe. All right. I will catch you guys in the next episode. Otsukare sama desu.